I rendered this quick animation in Corona Render at 24 frames per second. Here it is upscaled in DaVinci Resolve 18 for a much smoother result. Here's the before, a bit jagged, and here's the nice super smooth result. I'll teach you how in just a second. Open up DaVinci Resolve 18, I'm using the free version. Load a new project and make sure you set your frame rate to 60 frames per second. Add your media. If it's showing in individual frames like this, make sure you change it to a sequence as it's much easier to use. Drag it into your media pool and open the edit tab. Drag in the sequence and you'll see that it plays a bit too fast. That's because we've got a 24 frame per second animation playing in 60 frame playback. We can slow down our animation however slow you wish, but I'm doing it 45%. 25 frames per second now. Now our clip has been shortened, we need to make it back to the original length, so now it's about four or five seconds long, and it's the proper speed. Now to change it, all we do is go to optical flow in our retime and scaling and enhanced better. That's it. Here's our jagged 24 frames per second and compare that to our nice smooth 60 frames per second. Oh, smell. Indeed. I hope that's been useful with 3ds Max, Corona Render, and DaVinci Resolve. Thanks for watching.